and safety on election night on the minds of Sioux City School Board members this evening. KCAU 9's Hannah Adamson was at tonight's meeting and has much more. Hannah? Sophie, Superintendent Dr. Paul Gosman tells me he's concerned for Sioux City Schools, which will serve as polling places on Election Day. That's because the district cannot enforce its mask mandate on voters. However, the district will take other mitigation measures. They include providing masks, having staff stay late to clean up after poll workers leave, and using emergency exits to file voters in and out. We have worked in every school situation on an individual plan to see to it that if possible, the election entrance will be a different door than, than the school proper uh, or the rest of the school will use, that we segregate the polling and the elections going on uh, to a specific section of the building. This as the district received their return to learn plan update tonight. Dr. Gosman says tonight's report shows the district's mitigation efforts in general are working to curb the spread. Of course, nothing is working 100%, nothing is perfect, uh, but our numbers are so much lower in terms of spread within the schools than they are when the kids or, or other community members are out in the community. Now, in order for Sioux City Schools to go completely virtual, Woodbury County must meet an average 14-day positivity rate of 15% or more, and the absenteeism rate among students must be at least 10%. Although the county does have a positivity rate of over 15%, the absenteeism rate among students is less than 5%. Hannah Adamson, KCAU 9 News.